extending eviction moratoriums to keep people in their homes, a slight drop in mortgage forbearance, and more buyers are opting out of inspections to win bidding wars. Hello and welcome. I'm Jordan Norris, and this is the 90 Second Real Estate Rundown, the show where we source and share some of the top headlines in real estate news. And about that puzzle you saw last week, it's finally back in its box. Not because I finished it, but because I'm a quitter. The CARES Act moratorium on evictions expired July 24th, and many states are scrambling to prevent millions of renters still facing unemployment from becoming homeless. In Florida, the governor extended the state's ban on evictions until September 1st. According to a U.S. Census Bureau survey, more than a third of Floridians said that they missed June's rent or mortgage or said they wouldn't be able to pay for July's. Florida's jobless rate is at 10.4%, but far worse in areas dependent on tourism. In particular, the jobless rate in Orlando is at 16.5%. The Mortgage Bankers Association says that the mortgage forbearance rates continue to decline this week. Now 7.74% of borrowers are in forbearance, which is roughly 3.9 million homeowners. Freddie and Fannie Mac both saw a decrease, while Ginnie Mae actually saw an increase in loans and forbearance and is now at 10.27% likely because of the sustained high unemployment rate. The affirmatively furthering fair housing rule put in place by the Obama administration requires cities and towns that receive federal funding to look at housing patterns for racial bias and design a plan to address it. HUD plans to completely abolish it, saying it's, quote, complicated, costly, and ineffective. The president of the National Association of Realtors says the decision weakens the federal government's commitment to the goals of the Fair Housing Act. Thanks to record low inventory, the competition for home buyers has been heating up, and they're sacrificing inspections to make their offer more appealing to sellers. According to Redfin, nearly 20% of all accepted offers included a waiver to the inspection contingency. Redfin also reports that more than half of all offers involved in bidding wars and that waiving this contingency could be more attractive to a seller than the highest offer, as it means a safer bet amid economic uncertainty. Thanks for watching. If you like staying up to date with this week's top real estate news, maybe hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So now that I've given up on puzzles, what should I pick up next? Knitting or needlepoint?